We will study aircraft de-icing equipment. We will start our discussion by looking at why de-icing equipment is needed. We will look at de-icing signs and discuss different types of de-icing fluids. We will discuss the difference between de-icing and anti-icing and conclude our discussion on major components and working of de-icing proc. Ice has quite dangerous effect over an aircraft. An aircraft is designed to be extremely aerodynamic so that air travels over its surfaces without any disturbance. The aerofoil shape of the wings is also optimized for excellent aerodynamic properties. The biggest problem with ice is that it causes disturbance in the aerodynamics of the aircraft by changing the shape of surfaces. This disrupts the airflow and causes instability in aircraft flight. This effect is dangerous enough to cause aircraft accidents. American Eagle Flight 4184 was a domestic passenger flight from Indianapolis to Chicago, United States. It crashed on 31st October 1994. When the aircraft was about to land at Chicago Airport, pilots experienced abnormal behavior of the aircraft. They lost control of the flight and the aircraft went into two full rolls before crashing nose first into a soybean field. The aircraft did not catch fire, but all passengers and crew on board died from the extreme impact of the aircraft with the ground. All 68 people on board died. When the accident was investigated, loss of control was attributed to aerodynamic disturbance caused by formation of ice on the aircraft. Aircraft de-icing is simple to understand. Before an aircraft takes off, a specialized ground support equipment called a de-icing proc is used for spraying a hot fluid over aircraft's body. This fluid melts and removes layer of ice formed over the aircraft. Pre-treatment and post-treatment inspections are carried out to make sure that aircraft is safe to fly. The de-icing fluid is similar to automobile coolant and antifreeze liquids used to prevent automobile problems during extreme summers and winters. It is simply a liquid that has a lower freezing point than water, so that when an airport is experiencing sub-zero temperatures and ice is forming over metal surfaces, you simply spray this liquid over the aircraft to remove existing ice and prevent it from icing again. The fluid itself does not freeze in that sub-zero temperature because its freezing point is much lower. De-icing fluids have ethylene glycol and propylene glycol as their primary ingredients. De-icing fluids have been standardized by an organization called SAE International. Its former name was Society of Automotive Engineers. It has classified fluids used for de-icing aircrafts into four types, namely type 1, 2, 3, and 4 fluids. Type 1 fluids are called de-icing fluids, whereas the other three types are called anti-icing fluids. For understanding the difference between de-icing and anti-icing fluids, we will discuss the concept of hold over time, or simply HOT. It is a simple concept to understand. If you spill water over your head, it will not stay over your head, but if you will pour oil over your head, it will stay longer than water. This is simply the concept of hold over time. That how long does a fluid used for treating icing on an aircraft holds on to the aircraft body? The holdover time of a fluid depends on its chemical makeup and viscosity plays a very important role in increasing or decreasing holdover time of a fluid. De-icing fluids 
have shorter hold over times. They melt and remove the layer of ice already formed over the aircraft body, but they don't prevent buildup of ice again because they don't remain on the aircraft body for much longer. Anti-icing fluids are given that name because they have longer holdover times. They remain on the aircraft body and make a layer over it such that water does not have any place to remain on the aircraft. No water means no ice. After a de-icing operation is performed, the holdover time of the fluid used is conveyed to the pilots and pilots keep a record of time passed since the operation was performed. For example, if holdover time of fluid is 20 minutes, pilots have to fly the aircraft before 20 minutes expire. And if due to some reason they are unable to do that, de-icing operation will have to be performed again. You can distinguish the type of fluid from their color. Type 1 fluids are orange in color. Type 2 fluids are colorless. Type 3 fluids are yellow and type 4 fluids are green. As we go down the type of fluids, their viscosity increases. A viscous fluid will stick to the aircraft surface longer, making its holdover time longer. Therefore, anti-icing fluids have higher viscosity. Type 2 fluids are used on the smaller aircrafts because they shear away from aircraft body at relatively low speeds and therefore are not suitable to be used for larger aircrafts. <laughs>